I'm a Jew. I'm a Jew. And I kept saying it <laughs> for maybe about three, four minutes straight. Like, I am a Jew. I'm a Jew. And I, I got so thankful. And it just, I had so much joy that just burned inside of me. I couldn't, and I just couldn't contain it. I just started smiling. And I'm like, and I just got overwhelmed with like with gratitude. I'm like, ah, to be able to say it, right? You got you guys know you've been on the journey with us. So before we get started, we just wanted to say that this video is dedicated to all of those who have been taken from their families, displaced kidnapped and taken as hostages over into Gaza. So with that said, we're going to continue to pray for you. We're going to continue to fight for you. And our hearts are with each and every one of you. Hey guys, it's Akiva. And Hava. We're House of Lave. That felt good. That, that felt, felt really good. That felt good, right? The new, the new intro, right? The new us. <laughs> we've been getting used to it. We've been getting used to our new names, the new everything, all of the new new. Yeah. It has taken a moment because, you know, people I will meet, they'll go, oh, what is your name? And, I, and I'll go, Dan Hava. And they're, yeah. like, they're like, what is it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, went, we went to a birthday party the other day. Yeah. And uh, uh, somebody asked my wife, hey, oh, what's your name? And she's like, Danielle. I was like, and nope, that, just oh, kidding. It's oh, not. Kava, Kava, right. <laughs> so then when you say that, they look at you and I have to explain myself of why did I just say that? And then they're like, oh, Mazato. <laughs> All of that. So it's, it's, it's getting some used to, which is important to me. Like, that's why I wanted to wait until like to have that name and to start sharing that name. I wanted to wait until we convert it. So uh, to be able to just fully take it on, and obviously it's going to take time, it's adjustment, um, but I'm embracing it because I definitely feel new. Me too. Me too. It feels good. Yes. It feels good. Like even my, uh, like my, my boss, he switched everything up. He calls me Akiva. He doesn't he, like to be called he, boss. I know. It's like I, your partner. I, I, I don't know what else, what else, what else do I call him? Your business partner. My business partner. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, but he introduces me as Akiva. He calls me Akiva throughout the day. And I, he, you know, people are changing it in their phones. Like people have sent me like screenshots that they change. It says Akiva Nachman in their phones. And so it's, it's beautiful. Yeah, it is beautiful because people are taking it very seriously in yeah. our community. Like literally people are calling us Hava and from time to time somebody will, you know, they'll say it and they'll go, oh, Hava, I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> right. Yeah. And so it's like, we're not going to be upset and be like, why did you call me that? Yeah. Uh, you understand because we're we're still adjusting our, ourselves so yeah life has been amazing it's been absolutely amazing lots of adjustments which is why we wanted to do a video to talk about um, navigating Jewish life what does that even look like now mm -hmm. how are we doing certain things and so what we thought was we will just kind of touch on certain topics in this video. We don't want to make the video super long because you know how we do. We talk and next <laughs> thing you know, we're 20 minutes in. So we don't want to make the video 20 minutes. <coughs> Excuse me. But what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to do a lot of different videos with a lot of different topics. Like we want to do one one video just talking about our first experience uh, our first Shabbat experience. Mm -hmm. We want to do one video where we're talking about the meaning behind our names and the reason why we chose our names and our kids' names and things like that. So we'll spread them out so we can have uh, lots of videos. So, but this video is just to really uh, just kind of share with you guys a little bit of, of how it's been for us. Uh, you know, it's been like we're going into our third week as a Jewish family, which is I can't believe it's been all, it's gone Sunday would be three weeks. Can you time, believe it? Yeah, time is not waiting at all. It, yeah, I feel like we've done so much in yeah. in three weeks because in my mind, honestly, Jeez. I feel like it was just last week. I know, but so much has happened within because it was just like 
We found out mikvah day, right? I, we found out mikvah day on a Tuesday. And then that coming Sunday was mikvah day, November 5th. And so we had four days to plan for a wedding. Then on top of that, you know, you have Shabbat still, right? And then, yeah. and then it was like, okay, we're preparing multi Shabbos, like for our wedding and plans a mikvah. I'm like, okay, what are the details? This is yeah. this. We're gonna separate for the whole day. Um, just so many things. And then right after that, it was, you know, making sure we get in our kitchen together. And <laughs> yeah, like that. That was literally like a week task. Yeah. Right. It was like a whole week of of getting things done because we it was only so much that we could do before we converted. Mm -hmm. We couldn't. We you know what I mean yes you can have like we found out that we could have had like some of our Jewish friends at the time tovo our stuff right but then we weren't Jewish and so it was um, like we could have had those things in but then at, but, but now that we think about it we didn't even have all of our stuff yet. Like things were still coming in. So well, this is what uh, yeah. we have to. This video, we wanted to make sure that we thanked every single one of you that contributed to our registry. Because Holy when God. I tell you that, like, it was all Hashem's timing, divine timing with everything, and you guys, you know, helping us in such a major way. Because wow. that next day, so that next day after conversion, after conversion. We had um, a cleaning, you know, company come in and they helped take out all of our old dishes, right? Mm -hmm. So that helped tremendously take out all of our dishes. And then we were that day totaling all of our, our new stuff. And you guys, like everything that we needed, at least to like start cooking, it came in on the day we converted. Yep. And that Monday, things were coming in. I mean, I think things were coming in actually on Shabbos. Things were coming in on Shabbos from our registry and we just... We can't thank you enough. Um, I'm still personally working on sending you guys from the gift receipts that we got that I can like scan it, I think. And we're personally um, making sure that we're writing you a letter or a little message that we can just to thank you. But if you're watching this video, you know who you are thank that you. bought us amazing, beautiful gifts. And we cannot thank you enough. We cannot even express our gratitude enough. Because when I say that we got all the necessities that we yep. needed for our kitchen, everything we got all the necessities that everything. we needed. So we're truly grateful that you guys were so kind to think about us and to be just so gracious and to be so eager to help and be a part of a beautiful mitzvah. I think yeah. um, we're just uh, it was just overwhelming, honestly, with just so much joy. I mean, like as the boxes were coming in, I'm just like. Like Hashem, you're so good. You're so good. It was, it was overwhelmingly beautiful, yes. just to see all those boxes. Like we yes. were, as, <laughs> as we were coming in, we would pull up to our home, and then there's boxes piled up to our gate in front of our gate yes. and behind our gate, right? Because Amazon would have to reach certain things over because you know there was so there wasn't enough room, and and it's just been so beautiful. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank. You. I mean, we didn't, we didn't lack anything. We haven't lacked anything at all to have like an official Jewish home, an official kosher kitchen. We can't wait to do just one whole video on all of the kitchen stuff. Yeah. So we want to show you, show you guys what you bought, and show you how we're navigating our kitchen and our space and our and it. Uh, we're so grateful like we put as soon as we put the registry up uh which we told you guys don't we didn't want people to feel obligated to do it but it was just like gift after gift after gift and um, and we can't even tell you guys how much that helped like oh my gosh again like it helped Tremendous. more than you yeah. know because it's like man we would have had to like order all this stuff and like get it and and of course i already knew like i mean hashem was going to provide it right i mean we knew that was going to be regardless of if we did a registry or not. And like we didn't, okay, I can say that I expected that people would want to, you know, be a part of something so beautiful. But at the same time, I didn't know it was going to be to yeah. that level yeah. Yeah. Um, because it was just like above and beyond. And yeah. I wish I can like literally just thank each and every one of you on here personally and say your name. Um, but you know who you are and we're so grateful i mean to have our like 
Shabbat be filled with everything that we needed. It's amazing. It was, you know, challah boards and kiddush cups. Our pots and, and pans. You know who you pans. are. You actually bought both of our sets, so thank you so much, which was unreal. L so thank you. <laughs> Listen, it's it's so beautiful because, like, like you guys like are literally helping us do mitzvahs every day. Yeah. Right. Like us cooking in a kosher kitchen. Right. That's us being able to perform mitzvahs every day. Right. Every Shabbat because we have the things that we need, the utensils that we need. You know, we're able to perform the mitzvahs every day. Mm -hmm. uh, or, or every week. It's incredible. It's incredible. Our kiddush sets that we got and oh, uh, right. our havdalas. Oh, beautiful. And it's just so it's much stuff it. that. So that, and that's why, so you can see, we spent like a couple <laughs> minutes talking about that. But, and so that's why we have to do multiple videos for these things. But one whole yeah. video just with like our kitchen and all things like that, how we were toggling things and uh, that experience. So I was able to get some footage of me actually, you know, toggling our, you know, some different things. And, and we're just, we're just very, very pumped. So I'm very blessed, very excited, grateful and all of the above. So thank you, thank you, thank you guys again so much for your generosity, for your love. I wish I can hug like each and every one of you. Like, <laughs> yeah. uh, but I hope you feel the love, you know, through this video and you know. It's beautiful. And you feel our appreciation because just mind blown. Yeah. Mind blown. Gifts are still coming in, which is crazy too. Yeah. It's like, it's unreal, but we're so grateful. So life as a Jewish family has been unbelievable. We're still trying to put everything into words. We're still trying to process everything. We don't know how. I'm just letting you know now. <laughs> we don't know how to process it and verbalize what's actually going on on the inside of us. Mm -hmm. um, do we feel different? 100%. Yes. 100%. What's been different? I I'll tell you this. One thing is, it's just our awareness of Hashem. Because now we're not learning just for knowledge. We're actually learning to apply now. It's, it's for application. So it's different when we're learning Torah. It's a difference learning Torah. Yeah. And, um, and it just makes me, it's making us a lot more just aware and conscious about Hashem being, Hashem consuming every single aspect of our space. There's no place that's void of Him. And mm -hmm. just like we say, we've said in, in some of our videos that these 613 mitzvot are 613 opportunities to connect. Yeah. And every time we get a chance to do a mitzvah, it's with joy. It's with happiness. And I'm like, wow, I want to take my time before I eat this, this apple. And I want to say the bracha, you know? Yeah. When we say our brachas now, it's like, there's just so much of this like joy that yeah. comes over us because it's like, we know it counts. Like yeah. it really, it really counts now. And you know, I, it's really special too, because we're kind of like, we're helping each other too with things yeah. of like, you know, holding each other accountable with stuff of like, hey, did you say your bracha lakronas, right? Like things, um, that was stuff that I really like had challenges in, to be honest, is uh, maybe not always remembering to say it, but now it's like I'm like, so excited to do my bracha lakronas and like to to help and say, hey guys, did you do that? You know, and this and this. And and we're holding each other accountable because we all agree we want to be held that accountable. Right. So, um, again, we never, you know, tell each other to do things that we wouldn't want each other to do, but everybody's like, yes, help us with, you know, help us with that. So, and a bracha krona is a final blessing. Yes. yes. And that's the blessing that you do after you get done eating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And so, yeah, like he said, it's just been very, um, very intentional in everything that we do. Like even my prayers have been just more, mm. uh, deeper and meaningful and, um, just the connection and, and I think with honestly after going into the mikvah like I can I can say that I like I feel this deeper connection 
with the Jewish people. Like, you can't explain it, but there is something that just like, it's like a connection line. Like, I just got connected to the umbilical cord of all of the Jewish people. Like, if I had to kind of describe it in a way like that, it's like, uh, I don't know, it's an awakening in your neshama that you know you're now like a part of the Jewish people. Yeah. No, I can definitely relate. We went to an event last night, a beautiful event, and it was a, it was an event to to benefit all of those families that are in Israel that that have lost loved ones, that have had family members kidnapped, and, and it was a whole it was a beautiful beautiful benefit, and I mean it was a very very emotional night, but it was something also different about going there. To maybe tie into what she just said was um, we just felt connected to each and every person no matter you know how a person observes or wherever or whatever it was like no nope, these are all my Jewish brothers and sisters every last one of you yeah. and it's it's just I don't know it's just different like and you're gonna hear us say that a lot <laughs> like we don't it's we're having a uh, a tough time trying to like verbalize what's actually going on in here. So we'll, we're going to do yeah. our best. And we're getting used to saying like, we are part of the Jewish nation ah, because yeah. I, I, I was doing, I was talking, it was like my turn to talk at the last event night, last yeah, yeah. night. And I was like, you know, you guys are such a special and people in the audience was like, you guys, you, you are, you are. Yeah. And it's like, ah, I got to, I got to like get used to the fact like I, wow. that's me now, wow. right? Like we are part of Kla Yisrael. Like it's like amazing to be able to say that now yeah. because we used to always have to say, you know, the Jewish people or you guys, like it's like, yeah. no, it's us now. It's us. You know, I so I, I, I did He Bodhidu this morning and that's actually something that I was just sitting with. I was just telling God, I'm like, I'm a Jew. I'm a Jew. And I kept saying it <laughs> for maybe about three, four minutes straight. Like, I am a Jew. I'm a Jew. And I I got so thankful. And it just, I had so much joy that just burned inside of me. I couldn't, and I just couldn't contain it. I just started smiling. And I'm like, <laughs> and I just got overwhelmed with, like, with gratitude. I'm like, ah. To be able to say it, right? You got, you guys know you've been on the journey with us for this past year, man, and and you know how much we 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 wanted this. So to be able to finally say it, it's I'm a Jew. I'm a Jew, and I'm proud, very proud, Jewish beyond proud. proud. So again, I don't know how long the video is now. <laughs> <laughs> let me is uh, let me see. Okay. It's like 18 minutes, but after I do a couple cuts, maybe it's like 15, but... Um... It's okay. It's been a minute. We want to share <laughs> our hearts and our excitement yeah. and everything that we've been feeling. So, again, like he said, there's going to be lots of videos coming out of so much stuff. We still have our wedding footage. Oh, you, listen, everybody's waiting for that. We, <laughs> we see the messages. We see the messages. That's why we, we try our best. We've been sending like the little shorts. I know some people... <laughs> Some people are probably tired of Shirley, like, give me the real thing. Give me the real thing. But we're, we're working on it. So, like, the reason that we're just now, like, almost going into three weeks into Jewish life, it's, uh, it, things have been very, very busy. It's been nonstop. It's been nonstop. I mean, just the first week was nonstop, you know, of us just really making sure that we're spending time together and spending time with our kids and process. The first week was just Processing trying everything. to process and to like understand the adjustment. You know, I'm like, yo, we like we live in Jewish life now. Like that was just the first seven days. Um, and so, so now we are working on figuring out how, you know, what's the best time to record and, and to, are we ready to like share? You know, are we ready to kind of verbalize some of these things? So, mm -hmm. uh, thank you for being patient and all those things. Yeah. So uh, there's a lot of content to come. It's coming. 
lots of things that we want to show and yeah. talk about. I mean, we have a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so overall, again, you know, our life as now a Jewish family is nothing but a blessing. It it, it brings our, our family so much joy. Our kids are so excited. Like we see the change in our children. Yeah. And it's it's just yeah. We and we've literally we've changed our family tree. Mm. You know, and like I look at my kids, look at my girls, my my sons and I'm like from here on out our grandchildren and their kids and their kids and their kids they will be Jewish. We started a whole new branch here. And now we're our our goal now when it comes to spending time with you guys and the content that that we create is now all focused on life living as a Jewish family now you know so yeah. I guess we can now say welcome to our Jewish life <laughs> as Hava and Akiva that's right so with that being said you got anything else that's it we're just we're truly grateful for our online community, all your love and support for that entire year, being on this journey with us, guys, and continuing to be on this journey with us. We feel like so privileged to be able to go through a conversion process and have so many people be there, love on us, support yeah. us, to say that we can go almost anywhere and that we'll have somebody's house to go over for Shabbat That's or <laughs> somebody who will you know, host us or somebody just there to just be there for us so we thank yeah. you so much from the bottom of our hearts for all of your love and just support because not every person gets this type of support who goes through a conversion process meaning on this type of scale like this is we're just beyond grateful we really are and when we started this journey i don't think we really even under we didn't even know the magnitude of what this would become and how much support that we would get so it's just been overwhelming in a good way and um just lots of gratitude yes yeah so with that being said thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch our video if you stay to the end <laughs> let us know so i need you to put in the comment section right now what would be a good what would be a good thing to put at the end welcome home Ah, I like that. So put welcome home in the comments if you stay all the way to the end. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your love. Thank you for watching. If you are not subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Give it a like, give it a share, whatever you want to do. We appreciate it. We love you guys. So stay tuned to the next video.